Alright guys, I thought Summers was a producer, but he's a rapper guys, so Summers the most humble rapper. Let's react to this. Having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. Being a humble music artist isn't easy. In fact, it could be one Facts bro, so many eyes on you bro. Got kajillions of fans bro. Man. He says the artist, you don't have to worry about, you know, getting copyright strikes because you're the one making the music. Big fan of here has to worry about that stuff or community guidelines strikes. Actually, uh, uh, Hush May Deb did actually get his video removed. So, but anyways, let's check out. One of the most hardest things to maintain mentally Cause constantly have people praising you Kids idolizing you Taking every word you say as law I know right bro You go on Instagram live You got 10k viewers You don't have to go through the grind man Like I do I'll have like 5 viewers guys And just basically on a day to day aspect Damn near being treated Dang bro look at that man Like a god Like everybody remain Everybody re it's like you're a space astronaut, like, I don't know, man. It's so wild. Billionaires don't get the same sort of attention here, guys. Unless they're super... I just told you who I thought I was. A guy! Well, they probably do, but, like, not in front of the... the not in the public. Not public attention, guys. So it's easy to understand why a lot of artists are cocky and view themselves as better than the average person. But not all artists or celebrities have this mindset. Some of these people have defined the odds, making themselves seem more regular and down to earth just like a normal human being. And just generally coming across as a regular everyday Joe that just so- That's me, you know? I don't- my happens to be- I don't get- I don't think I get the recognition I deserve, you know? Even though I don't really make, uh, you know? Songs like an artist does. Famous, which in a way helped develop their fan bases even more because they were so relatable. And overall, it helps the- Look at all those people in the crowd, man. That's so wild. Artist to fan relationship. Just look at somebody like J. Cole, who just goes on regular bike rides throughout New York City, where on some days you can even catch him ordering a glizzy. So I ran into J. Cole. So we're no blanket. Oh, shit. Or take somebody like Andre 3000, who your- Damn, bro. Randomly see out in the middle of the street just playing his flute and just doing all these random side quests before he drop another album. Um, the side quest, bro. <laughs> or take somebody like Post Malone, who's one of the biggest artists in music right now, who just be doing some of the most wholesome things. Post Malone be playing a Magic the Gathering for his fans. Yeah, but awesome. when it comes down to rap, he had a cameo. Just being humble. I mean, they can't really run. They can, you know what I mean? They are just human. Like, they can run, but like, they will, you know, meet up with fans eventually. Them can't compare to this next rapper I'm about to bring up, and it's for many different reasons. If you walk past him and smile at him while he's in his car, he'll do the above and beyond, get out his car, and greet you back. Stop playing me. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. He will humbly let his fans know how much money he spent the month on his rent. Or when his fans make his favorite McDonald's dessert or Oreo McFlurry, he'll give his review on it and let them know how he feel about it because he loves his fans to death. Bro, why is it always a fucking problem when I'm ordering this fucking order, bro? I thought he's humble, guys. <laughs> McFlurry's, McFlurry's do hit though, guys. But nah, all jokes aside, Summers is the most funniest rapper in my opinion. Cause this nigga will get so genuinely mad at the most littlest shit. Like when he got mad at a McDonald's employee cause they wouldn't give him extra caramel for his Oreo McFlurry. Oh snap, bro. We used to always get these where I when I grew up, man. I'm sitting there asking this woman, the manager, hey, look, I want two caramel McFlurries with Oreos. Put caramel at the bottom and caramel on side the uh, cup. The employees be forgetting, yo. They they be so busy and overworked, but not underpaid. Fucking. Well, kind of underpaid, and but not underpaid is big fan of, right, guys? Give me an extra cup of caramel and give me a cup of Oreos. I will pay extra for it. She talking about that's against guidelines. We can't do that. Like the yeah, guidelines. Oh, that it reminds me of my community gui guidelines strike. That I hope we get roofed. Sorry, man. I just. 
I'm, I'm devastated. Bitch, I just did it the other day. What are you talking about? I do kind of <laughs> agree that the employee was being a little petty for not giving him no extra caramel even. Hey, if I was an employee, I would, I would, I would, I would hook him up. I would hook him up, guys. Though he said he'll pay for it. But nigga, calm down. It's not that deep. You don't got to go on Instagram and post it all to your fans. And then you try to shit on a 50 plus year old lady. Because as you said in the video, she looked at over 50. Told that bitch, man. That's why you work here right now, man. That's, that's that's exactly why you work here. That's exactly why yeah, it's like 50 some years old and you work here, Phil. Like that's why. Cause you can't follow simple fucking instruction. That's why you can't get no good job, man. Fuck you. And fuck the McDonald's. Then one time he got mad at another hip hop YouTuber, Baba Lam, just cause Baba Lam thought that Summers was doing a music video. And he got a, like a tattoo in no, the middle of his forehead like that. Don't see that not that often guys. Apartment. But in reality it was his house. That might be Summer's apartment or condo. <laughs> Does this look like a fucking apartment of condo to you, dude? Nine hundred K house, wow, well, dude. Ridge, dude. You forgot to send a profile picture, though. Dude, fucking nine hundred thousand dollar house, dude. Or the time when fans spotted Summers and wanted to take pictures with him. I'm gonna take pictures with y'all. Wait, don't get on my car. Right. Yo, I seen this. I seen this like way before. You heard me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Who was grabbing my wrist? Oh God! Don't, do that. Don't, do don't ever do that shit anymore. Do what the fuck? Now you would think for an artist who be acting like this that he's doing crazy numbers and he's just like the biggest thing coming out. Guys, I don't know who this is. I don't know. The only, the only way I know him is from is from that one video we just watched where he got mad for somebody at, at somebody grabbing his arm. But that's not really the <laughs> case. He's like one of them. Oh, one million. That ain't. That ain't low numbers at all, though. Artist that's underground who's on the verge of breaking into the mainstream, but still hasn't got that big hit song for himself yet. And his streaming numbers don't match up the way he be acting towards his fans. Like, they're pretty good, especially compared to his peers. But overall, when you compare it to a whole music landscape of other artists, he doesn't stand out, and he's not doing anything that much different than another underground artist. And maybe that's the fault to his own fan base, because they do ride him hard and be showing love to his music. But bruh, this nigga need a reality check, because he getting way too too comfortable with his fans like he randomly walked up on a fan and slapped him at a gas station just cuz he thought the dude was smiling at his girl then he got the nerve to post him on his instagram thinking that was cool stop playing on me son man, bro, man stop mean? stop playing me up in this bro. bitch and to me that was some wait he just slapped the fan bro dang bro Lame shit right there. Cause bro looked genuinely confused on why he was doing that. And it just seemed like that summers he just wanted a moment. When he dropped this album Stuck in My Ways earlier this year, a lot of his fans and people were Hey, I'm stuck in my ways each and every day, each and every day. Stuck in my ways, wanting to react, that's all I gotta say. Stuck in my ways, stuck in my ways, feel bad, feel just bad. Wanna make it on the the social media game, man, each and every day in the mainframe. Was trashing it, and he was begging his fans to get his album to number one on the Apple charts, which I don't know why he was begging on that and not the Billboard. Apple charts, bro. <laughs> what is this, like, uh, 2007 or something? 200s. But when his album failed to do that, he just got depressed and was contemplating on quitting music. So when his fans do too much, he basically treats them like shit. But when they're not doing enough for him or streaming his music, he get all depressed. And I feel like he probably be going through a lot of stuff mentally. Because usually you don't see artists get publicly upset the way he did. Or go online and post you cutting yourself. And a big factor... Dude, don't be doing that, man. That's too much. Summers... Please chill with that. To this and my pain stem from his grandma Brenda dying a couple years ago, where she was the person who raised and believed in Summers his whole life and always supported his music. Dang, bro, I have the same feeling. And believed in what he did. But when she passed away on Christmas a couple years ago, it really took a toll on him. Where Man, that's up. He would get on Instagram Live to express his feelings. I want it, bro. Your fucking grandmother can make a sound call. Fucking support you, bro. <sighs> Like, what the fuck made a whole playlist about it? Supporting me since I was a fucking kid, bro. With everything, like, everything that I wanted to do, she was. Dude, I'm scared of losing my grandparents, man. Boy. So despite everything I was saying in this video, I'm praying for Summer's mental state and I'm hoping he can bounce back through everything that he's going through. And bro, treat your fans better. They don't deserve what you've been doing to them. And it starts with you treating them better to get your album sales up. Cause if your own girlfriend doesn't care about your music. Name a song, let me know you. Like name a song, name three songs. Three? Yes. Don't disappoint me right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sad, bro. Sad. I'd be pretty sad at that point. We, we sit here and listen to this shit all day. I know. I didn't know.
why would you expect people that you treat like shit to? But these are my thoughts and opinions on Summers. I'm hoping the best for him in his mental state and just change the Stay way you be man. treating some of your fans because a lot of them don't deserve that. I had your Instagram, nigga. What the fuck you gonna do about it, nigga? Well, almost all of them. But be sure to like the video. Oh, he's the one who did that? Oh, snap. You gotta respect how you weren't just talking pure crap about Summers and actually humanized him. Man, you didn't even make a video about that. Underground ar artists have the b bigger egos than actual superstars. Summer's whole life is an inconvenience. Don't mention and forget. Don't forget to mention uh, Lays. He's really respectful to his and very humble. Whole rappers accountable for not treating their fans like humans. Slapping a fan is crazy. He might not even been a fan, bro. He just like slapped him for looking at his girl or something. But yeah, guys. That's not good. That's not a good publicity. He's doing that slapping of slapping like and putting it on Instagram and everything. Not the best. But yeah, guys, that is the video. Peace out, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Okay, later. Check out uh Rel uh, Relavelli in the description. Okay, guys, later. Thank you for watching.